Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to Nana Nookers. Today I am going to be glossing Corbin. I'm really working really hard on trying to get this video straight. <laughs> so I'm new to this and so I've been having trouble with some blur issues and different things. But uh, I'm readjusted my camera and we're trying again. Corvin is our Patreon baby. This is a baby that we have been doing in Patreon step by step. Um, if you would like to join Patreons and learn how to reborn your very own baby, I will have the link in the description below. But today we're doing Corvin and we're doing all his glossing. And for that you will need either paper glaze. This is Arlene's paper glaze. Or I have used this, um, I think it's Wagner's or Ranger's accent, glossy accents. I've used this before too. They're both a water base. I tend to enjoy my Arlene's though. So what I do with this is I put just a little bit, and that's way more than enough, into a dish or whatever I'm using. I actually use the shell. It's really pretty and it, it keeps it glossed up. So <laughs> it's what I use to rest my paintbrushes in. So you will need that. And then you will need a few brushes, different sizes, uh, small brushes, whichever one you're comfortable with. I am going to start Corvin by doing inside his nose first, taking a little bit of product and getting right into his nose. Careful not to get outside the nose. You don't want him to look like he's he's got a snotty nose, but you do want his nose to look wet. So, trying to keep this in the camera. <laughs> trying to keep it in the camera for everybody. Let me look. Do you want it to look wet, but not snotty. And you're gonna do the exact same thing inside the ears. Right inside the ear and this is an air dry so after this is done I will let this cure for uh, maybe 24 hours or so before I start rooting hair on him now we're gonna do the lips I'm hoping I can get this where you guys can see it I always start inside this crease of the lip by patting the product just inside the crease and then pulling in downward motions just like I do when I paint the lip and then we'll do the top the exact same way just pulling up flip the head over this will give some shine to the lip Let me look at it up close so I can make sure I haven't forgotten any little bits and pieces. I know it gets out of frame when I do that, but I want to make sure. So there is our lip and our ears and our nose. So now I'm going to do his eyes. And for that, I'm going to use this small round brush. Um, and I just want to put this right where the tear duct would be careful not to touch the eyeball itself she don't want the product on the eyeball just get right in there where the tear duct would be and that little bit of water line gives a lifelike appearance okay now what I want to do is I want to add just a little bit to this eyelid but I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to touch it this way just to mat it just a tad where it looks a little wet but not overly wet I don't want it overly shiny Give that nice, pretty appearance. Corvin, I think you look like you're crying. If you feel like you've got too much, just take a brush and wipe some of that out. 
cardboard, you can take your finger and mat it just a bit. But I think it looks pretty good. And then to do the nails, pretty self-explanatory. It's just like painting nails, just on a very smaller scale. We're going to go in and we're going to paint each little toenail. Careful not to get it off the toenail like I just did. And if you do that, just wipe it off. Careful not to get it on the flesh. You want to keep it on the toenail. And we're going to do this for every little toe and every little finger. And I will actually put two coats on the on the nails um, because people tend to touch hands and feet a lot more when they're dressing their, their babies or playing with their babies. They tend to touch the hands and feet a lot more. So I always do extra couple of coats just to be on the safe side. And grab some fingers. So and fingernails are done the exact same way. Easy peasy. Alrighty guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed today's video on glossing. I will see you next time. Bye.